Hey guys, today we're gonna go over a simple airbrush design that includes three different font styles. I'm gonna go through the process that I use to lay out the design and hopefully you'll learn something in the process. There's a reason I'm wearing these glasses. They're gonna record some extra video for you. I'm not just trying to look cool. So, it's a graffiti design that says birthday girl, a little crazy with a date on it and all that. Um, there's gonna be a big graffiti word in the middle and there's some simple text on the top and bottom. So the first thing you want to do is figure out the layout. Uh, center everything, make sure your stuff is where you want to put it. This is where I'm going to put the big word. It's going to say girl in graffiti. You just want to block out the letters to make sure they go in the right spot. You're not running out of room or you're not stretching things too much. Get it where you want to be. Then I'm going to go in with black doing the graffiti first because I can put the, the little words on top and bottom. I can squeeze them in however they need to fit once the graffiti is there, but it would be hard to fit the graffiti word in after I've already put other stuff around it. So I'm going to start with that. We're going to do the outlines and I'm going to record it on the glasses so you can see. And here we go. I imagine I'll do a bunch of videos on the graffiti letters themselves. It seems to be what people ask me about the most. But for now, I'll just do it and you can watch. All right, that'll do it for that. Simple text. I'm gonna do a shadow on that as well. All right, a different style of text on the bottom, but it's also simple. And the date. Go ahead and shadow everything here as well. All right, that's simple. Now we're gonna do some outlines, add some color to it, and make it stand out. When you're doing the outline on letters like this, you want to make sure that the space between the outline and the letters is consistent all the way around the design. You don't want to have spots that are closer to the letter or farther away. You want your outline to be consistent width all the way. Here's some drips and some other background effects. Stars are something that people like to see. 
show you how I do those. It's all dagger strokes from the middle and then a fade, maybe some dots. Small circles to fill in gradients and things like that. And something I like to do that makes designs pop out a lot that's really quick to do is just a white highlight and I do it at the bottom of these graffiti letters. And if you do the white highlight while the paint is still wet, I just added that pink and did the white right on top of it. If you do it while it's still wet, the white actually pushes the pink paint through the shirt and you get a nice bright finish right there instead of a muted out gray kind of color. So do your highlights right after your fills. And that's really it. Um, this is kind of a test. The first one of these videos that I've done. Hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more of them. Hopefully I'll get better at doing them. And hopefully you'll learn something watching. Uh, thanks guys. See you later.